Hi there, my friends. I thought I'd come back on and do my video about the second the part of my uh, actual stroke, um, the recovery, and um, what I'm dealing with currently. Now, I know that a lot of people uh, are afflicted with physical very obvious physical ailments after their stroke. I am fortunate not to have any paralysis. I do have limited feeling in my hand and fingers. Um, no feeling in my fingertips whatsoever. I have uh, spasticity in the left arm that varies from day to day. I also have been um, diagnosed with central pain syndrome, which affects the entire left side of my body. And as I mentioned before, this is a pain that doesn't go away. This pain is constant and it can be terrible at times or it can just be that nagging, you know, you know it's there. Um, and a lot of people have this. It, it, I can tell you that about three months after my stroke, I started having a tingling sensation, uh, pins and needles and burning, which I thought was great. I thought, wonderful, you know, I've got the feeling back. It's coming and things are progressing and this is just marvelous. And slowly but surely, the areas that regained feeling uh, started to have pain. And when I say pain, I can tell you that I. I wouldn't give it a 10 ever because 10 to me is childbirth, but this pain at its worst can get me to an 8 and possibly 9. Um, it's very, it, it's triggered by a ver variety of things. I, I can just, you know, um, folding laundry for example, um, you know, touching anything for any length of time will cause me a tremendous amount of pain. And so I have to do that, uh, you know, in batches. I can't do all the laundry all at once. Um, I'm very sensitive to temperature. Cold is, you know, the worst for me. And extreme heat does bother me. I sweat profusely on my left side if the heat is um, an issue. But what, the thing with being cold is that I am cold when no one else is cold. My left arm is constantly cold. It could be 95 degrees outside, and this arm is cold. And it's, you know, it's difficult when everybody wants the air conditioning on, and I'm, you know, wearing a sweater. And so um, I am afflicted with a mild form of aphasia. I do have trouble finding my words sometimes. A lot of times you'll see me look to the ceiling. Uh, that means I'm trying to find the correct word. I consider myself well educated, although I didn't go to college. Um, you know, I'm pretty intelligent and it's very difficult for me to not be able to find the words that I'm looking for. I write a lot and so for me not to be able to grasp the words that I need is, is kind of difficult for me. Um, you know, I am so grateful and thankful that I have my speech and I know that many are affected by this so much more. Uh, they're the severe aphasia patients, you know, they can't communicate. And so um, I just want everybody to be aware that I am so grateful to be alive. Uh, you know, we talk about daily gratitudes and, um, you know, I, Emily uh, Noel, 1983, or 83, uh, I think I'll, I'll link her to her page, her channel, sorry. Um, she is actually a, a beauty blogger, um, but she recently posted something about being present and uh, she quoted that from Oprah. And it's a very important thing because we need to be 
in the moment. We need to be in the now. Worrying about things that have already happened, we can't change those things. Um, they're done. They're memories, and we have to try to, you know, deal with them. And the things that have happened to us in the past, we have to try to focus on where we're at right now. This is a big thing for me. I, I don't work. I had some issues with uh, my memory at my job, and it was just starting to become a real problem. And so I try to live every day as though it could be my last, because you don't know. I mean, the, the people that die tomorrow had plans for tomorrow. So, you know, we need to think about today, and as stroke survivors, we have a unique look into what could have been. We're here to talk about it, and that says something. That says something important, that we need to do what it is that we're meant to do, the reason that we're still here. And I'm hoping to be able to reach out to other young stroke survivors and try to get I would really like to, especially the really young stroke survivors, you know, I'm talking about the teenagers and the girls in their 20s and 30s, you know, everybody worries about how they look to some degree, and sometimes you just want to feel pretty. You know, I did my makeup today because I wanted to feel pretty and this is a very bold look for me and I don't normally do this but I wanted to try something different and I did it today because I don't know that tomorrow I'll be able to do it um, you know days for me can vary from you know days where I'm in bed all day to days when I'm you know having a pretty good day which today is a very good day for me the pain is not too bad. I am on day two of one of the medications that I take regularly um, that is a constant source of medication for me. And so I would really like to challenge all of my stroke survivors to post what you're grateful for. I'd love to see your gratitudes for today. And um, Cece, you amaze me, and I can't even imagine what it must be like for you, but you just move right along, you and your distant cousin eyebrows, and, you know, it's just, we need to uh, work with each other and make sure that what it, whatever it is that we're supposed to be spreading, whatever it is that we're supposed to be giving, whatever it is that we're supposed to be learning, that we do it. We do it today, we do it now, we don't wait. And, you know, I spent a large part of my life in an abusive relationship, and I have never been happier than I am right now. And the stroke brought me to that realization. The stroke brought me to the point where I said, I can't do this anymore. I need to, to get out, and I need to go back to the girl that I used to be. And it's a work in progress, and nobody is perfect, and, you know, I don't have perfect teeth, and I, you know, I'm overweight, and, um, another blogger, Loie Lane, gosh, she really, she just, I, I watch her videos, and I just feel beautiful, and, uh, you know, I'll link her page for you as well, um, she just, she just really makes me feel good about myself when I watch her. And um, there's another blogger, uh, Vintage or Tacky. And uh, you have to watch her if you are um, a plus size gal and you want to feel good about yourself. You know, watch her videos because she totally owns it. And I love it. I, I just wish I had that sort of support when I was younger and, you know, in my teens and struggling with being an overweight young adult, it's not easy. And so I'm going to link all of the uh, bloggers that I mentioned 
and um, you really need to give them a look because it's, it's amazing what we can do for each other. Just a simple word, a simple conversation, what we can do for each other. And, you know, I'm challenge, challenging my friends that are watching this to, you know, do a video about your gratitude. You know, I am so grateful for my life. I am grateful for my children. I have three beautiful children who are so happy and in relationships that make them whole. And that's, you know, all a mom can ask for is that her children are happy. And I've got four wonderful grandsons. I have a grand dog -ter. Um, No little girls yet, but, you know, maybe someday. And I'm very grateful for them, my grandchildren. I miss them terribly. I moved to Kansas from New York and I can't wait to see them. We'll see them in September and you know I'm so grateful for the home that I live in. I'm grateful for my mother-in-law. As funny as that sounds, you know, yes. I am so grateful for my mother-in-law. She she makes me feel like you're supposed to feel when you're near your mom and so it is an amazing feeling for me and I am very grateful for that and you know I don't have a lot I lost a lot because of my stroke I lost a lot financially and I lost a lot of stuff but I have my husband who I love dearly and I don't need stuff anymore um, it's nice to have but I don't need it. What I need is love and companionship and friends and I am so grateful for all my friends. I miss so many of them that I'm away from but I love being here and I know that it's where I'm supposed to be. You know, I... As a child, The Wizard of Oz was... It was my thing. I loved it so much. And, you know, I found my wonderful wizard, and he whisked me away to Kansas, so not via a twister, but uh, we got here. And, again, please, if you could, if you're watching this and you have your own channel, you know, um, I'd like to, to see what you're grateful for today. And, um... I hope that I can help anybody that, that needs a little uplifting. Um, I'm going to have, you know, here and there makeup tutorials and probably, not tutorials, I'm sorry, reviews. I don't think I could do a tutorial because of the limits I have with my left hand. It takes me a very long time to do my makeup. But I am going to do some one-handed hair tut tutorials eventually. So, and... Um, you know, I'm hoping to do some reviews on some great products, um, and yeah, so why don't you go ahead and make that video, let me know what you're grateful for, and you know, as Emily said, be present, be in the moment, be in the now. <laughs>